Hello, good evening. Welcome to another time on Hymns Night with me, Emmanuel Kwesi Mensa. I'm sorry for not coming away with Hymns Night last week. And we encountered some challenge, and thanks to those of you who reached out to, to ask about it. We are here today, and I would want to thank God for, for our lives. It's a new month, the month of November. Uh, we are just a month away, or some days away from December, that's Christmas. And we have to thank God for how far he has brought you and I. Today's hymn is a hymn that um, bothers, or it's, it's a hymn of assurance and confidence. So our assurance and confidence in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Before we go into the hymn, as usual, we have to read or get the basis for, for our hymn today. So our scripture will be taken from Romans chapter 8, verses 28 to 31. It says, and I read, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate, to be confirmed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Verse 31. What shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? The title for today's hymn is, If God be for us. This hymn was composed by James McGranahan in 1887 and the the story or the the purpose for this theme is that as Christians if there is nothing at all that we can get we have this assurance in the word of God in the saving power of Jesus Christ that if God is for us then nobody can be against us who can we pinpoint that has more power and authority than our God that we serve. There's nobody. And so I'm here to encourage you this month. I'm here to, to, to boost your confidence as a Christian this month that if God is for you and I, there's nobody, and I really mean this, there's nobody who can be against us. We just have to serve him well so that all these promises and blessings that he said in his word will be ours. Let's enjoy the hymn. I'll be right back. In the Lord. Oh, let his mercy share His son bears the trust that enthroned Redeemed by his blood Why should we ever fear Since Jesus is our only Lord If God be for us If God be for us if God be for us, who can be against us? Who, 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 who can be against us, against us? Be strong in the Lord, rejoicing in His might. Be loyal and true day by day When evil assail, be valid for the right And he will be our strength and stay If God be for us, if God be for us if God be for us, who can stand against us? Who, 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 who can be against us, against us? Confide in His word, His promises to show. In Christ they are ye, Christ they are ye, and amen. Do it, have 
pass away, we never shall endure this waiting o'er and o'er again. If God be for us, if God be for us, if God be for us, who can be against us? Who As against us, abide in the Lord, secure in His control, this life everlasting began. To pluck from His hand the weakest trembling soul. It never, never can be done. If God be for us, if God be for us, if God be for us, who can be against us? Who, 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 who can be against us? As again, sir. Welcome back. And the refrain or the chorus of the hymn is If God be for us, if God be for us, if God be for us, who can be against us? Who? Who? And again, who? Who can be against us? Against us? If God be for us, if God be for us, if God be for us, who can be against us? Who, 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 who can be against us, against us? This is the confidence I want you to have this month of November. God has seen you through from January to November. God has seen your family through from January to November. This is not a time that God is going to leave you. This is not a time that God is going to leave you to be devoured by the devil or the evil person or the people that doesn't want you to progress. God hasn't brought you here to leave you here. So as a Christian, have this confidence that if God, and if you know you are serving God in truth and in faith, he is for you and nobody, and I say this in authority, Nobody can be against you this month. Commit yourselves to him. Commit your family to him. Commit everything you do, the food you eat, the water you drink this month so that he can gradually walk us through the month peacefully but very, very confidently and strongly into December and to the end of the year. I pray for you that this week will be one of the best weeks and this month especially will be one of the best months of your life. If you had anything that you prayed about or any resolutions in the beginning of the year and perhaps October had, had passed away or passed, uh, it is gone and you haven't gotten what you wanted from God, a day is like a thousand years, a thousand days in the sight of God and so there is nothing like too late in the sight and in the dictionary of God. God can still do it and he will do it for you. Have a beautiful week. Have a blissful week. And God bless you. Thank you.